Today I wanted to talk about some strategies to pass engineering school even if you have a low IQ. These are the tricks I used to get my degree. Initially, I actually didn't get a good enough score in high school to make it into engineering. Well, that's not entirely true. I did make it into environmental engineering, but failed half of my classes in semester one, so I dropped out. Then later I used a secret backdoor method to get into biomedical engineering, and I ended up graduating with a 3.4 GPA. If you have a high IQ like this lizard or Elon, you can probably just read the textbook and take the exams and get an amazing score. But if you're low IQ like me, these tips might be helpful. These are my top five tips. It's not really groundbreaking stuff, but when you actually follow the advice, it's pretty helpful. So the first tip is to watch the relevant lectures before attending the lab classes. The lab class usually takes the content talked about in the lecture and gives you a way of practically doing the thing that the lecture was about. For example, in the lab you might be building some different filter circuits and testing them on audio signals. This is going to be easier if you attended the lecture on high pass and low pass passive and active filters. If they provide the lab sheet before the session, you should read it and look up anything that you don't understand. This way you won't run out of time in the lab doing something you could have done beforehand. You should also summarise the lectures as you go so that you can easily find the important information when doing assignments or when studying for your exams. I didn't always do this, but I definitely got better marks in the classes where I did. The next tip is to learn MATLAB or CAD early, or if you're in another type of engineering, find out what software is regularly used in your field and learn that. For example, if you're doing software engineering, find out what languages your degree heavily focuses on and get comfortable with them. Some classes didn't have it as a requirement to use MATLAB, but the people who chose to use MATLAB were much better off. For my biomechanics class, on one assignment, we used the Vicon gate tracking system to record position data from the reflectors when the subject walked and ran. We had to take this data and calculate the moments at all the joints, the cadence, and a bunch of other stuff. Some of my classmates did it in Excel, and some did it in MATLAB. It took the people who used Excel all weekend, and it took the people who used MATLAB only a couple of hours. Plus, MATLAB has so many other cool features to do fun stuff to the data that you just can't do in Excel. For design projects, you should use CAD to sketch your concepts rather than by hand. That way you can get a deeper understanding of the nuances of each design, and can quickly decide on an appropriate design direction for your projects. Then you can easily run simulations on the design and make changes before even building the first prototype. The next tip is to pick up as many marks as possible before the exam. In my course, exams were typically worth between 40 and 60% of the overall grade, and I'm really bad at exams. My mind just goes blank under pressure. It's not good. So I try to pick up as many marks as possible during the semester. Even if it's just a weekly test worth 2%, I would do everything I can to get the full 2%. An easy way to pick up extra marks is to finish your assignments a week early and then email them to the professor asking for feedback. Then you have a few days to implement their feedback and boost your score. Plus, they'll know you care about the class and you're trying to do well so they won't be as harsh with their grading. Next, you're going to want to make sure you join a good group for group assignments. And once you find a good group of people, try to stick with them for future projects. Group projects are usually more work than individual projects, so if you've got a bad group, you can end up doing more work and getting a lower grade. Because of the job security and pretty good pay, some people will do engineering who aren't really into it, or some people are forced to do it by their parents. Try to avoid being in a group with those people because they don't really care about their grades and they're just attending school to keep their parents happy. And the final tip is to ask questions, but be smart about it. You can ask your friends or classmates questions, but remember, they're not experts, so you're going to want to ask a few people or ask in a public forum so that somebody can correct them if they're wrong. I would recommend asking your professor questions when you're having trouble with an assignment or if you don't understand something from a lecture, but make sure you demonstrate that you've put in some effort to try to solve the problem on your own. 
You can either email them or ask in person after a lecture. I prefer to email because I get deeply uncomfortable talking to people IRL. On that note, I'll wrap up here. Basically, it boils down to being prepared for your lab classes, learning the relevant software, trying to get a good mark on everything, finding other people who care about getting good marks, and asking questions when you're stuck. Thanks for watching, this was a bit different from my normal videos, but I thought it might be helpful to anyone who's just starting university. But probably not, because they're fairly obvious tips. Bye.